After that, a lot of fans out here ask about Giant Gonzalez, who uh, feuded with The Undertaker, and fans really remember him. Oh, How sure. That run? Let me tell you, that guy was a prince of a guy, a wonderful guy. I, he's another one. That, oh, my God. Thank God Warlord's still with us. He's like everybody I managed, except for Warlord and Sid, is like dead. God. But yeah, uh, I love Gonzalez. We got along tremendously. Um, I mean, just a super, super guy. And he was blessed to be a giant, but also he would tell you if he was still here, cursed to be a giant because he knew he was going to have a short life. He was severely diabetic. He had heart issues. and Poor guy. I mean, knees were shot. Just nicest guy in the world. I mean, nicest, most, well, I can't say enough good about it. I, I miss him. Towards the end of his life, he was in Argentina, back where he's from. As you may or may not know, at the, that point, I don't know what it is now, but at that point, that whole country went, like, bankrupt. Anything you had in the bank went away. I mean, they didn't, they were just, like, in poverty. If you didn't have American U.S. cash in your hand, you had nothing. So, I would send him magazines in the mail, just whatever, with like $100 bills and $50 bills, like in the pages, so nobody would find them and things like that. And he couldn't even afford it. He, was, he had bad stomach issues, too. I would send him boxes, you know, whatever you call the container, roll aids and whatnot, just to help him. I, I looked after him up until he died. I really did. Yeah, I remember seeing a video that he put out before he died. I think, I don't know if it was for GoFundMe or what, but he was living in like a one room uh, building or one room apartment and it, he looked terrible. So it looked like he had a terrible end.